Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. My friends, hello. My friends, hello. Hello, my friends. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Um, if you thought I was distracted last week, it's it's uh, it's a very busy week in my household this week. Um, it is June 29th, 2021. It's a Tuesday for me, and you'll see this on Wednesday. And I am, long story short, we're moving to Baltimore this summer, and we are driving, and it's taking us a whole month to drive. So we have tried to cut down on moving costs by by getting a pod, which is a smaller thing, and we're not driving a truck. We are only driving our car. So we are putting all of our stuff in a pod, which was supposed to come tomorrow, but it's actually coming today. It's about 1230 in the afternoon for me, and it's coming today. So I am going to just get this recorded quick. Look, I'm, I'm really crooked. No, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for all the movement. Um, we're just going to get this recorded quick because um, I've been sort of stitching, but I'm also still teaching summer school. So I have editing to do for the concert that I'm putting on. And so I yesterday was a, such a long day. Here you want to see all of our boxes. Not all of them, actually. I mean, this is only a few. Oh, there's trash and stuff. And so all of this is going into the moving pod, which uh, is, is a little bit cheaper than taking your own truck and driving it across the country. <laughs> So we are, yeah, we're starting the loading process today and fingers crossed that everything fits, fingers crossed that we get everything in there that we need to before we start driving on Friday. So first things first, no live this week. No, I won't be doing a stitch with me. I won't be doing a live stream on Sunday because we will be driving. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into the cross stitch, shall we? Um, I've worked on a few things this week very, very sporadically, not very much as my normal stitching, but I did pull out some old-ish projects. So my first one, Alabama, um, and I didn't write in, down any stitch counts because my mind is on moving. So here's Alabama, and this is from Stitches Lovers Shop on Etsy. It came with a set of 50 US patterns. Here's what it looked like last week and the week before, chronologically from left to right. Oh, that's not the correct thing to move, Kaylee. That's okay. What in the world is going on? I just... <laughs> oh, y'all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. So there's what it looked like last week. Look at this. Wow. Okay, and then here's what it looks like now. I finished... I think I maybe finished the water last time. And then I got the rest of the rocks stitched and put in here let's keep this guy up here let's do it like this <laughs> and then I put I started to put in some of the pink flowers um, usually I've been doing this sort of like a printer but now I'm cross-country with these flowers and then I'll go in between with the darker color first I think and then and then the green last in between this is stitched on 25 count easy guide one over one full cross and I think I am close to 90% let me see 88% on this so yeah this is going in the car with me it's very portable I've been stitching this mostly in hand actually and I, I enjoy that okay next I worked on my seasonal earth Stitch Along with Stitch Again Sam and Trixie Tricycle, and I believe there's one other person doing this one. Um, and I didn't get a terrible amount done, but I was able to uh, work in a little bit. Oh, look at how cute it is. Okay, move over, move over, move over. And they all moved over and one fell out. There's last week and here is this week. So I got all of this blue put in, 
and then I finished filling in the um, white which I am stitching all the white space in this because this is on 16 count and I like the the look of, of filling in that instead of leaving the fabric bare and all those big holes if it were on linen or even weave I would not fill in but I am on Ada so I I prefer to fill in um, and I got this cute little cloud done don't to ask me about percentages I don't know <laughs> um, this is from the book cross stitch for the earth by Emma Congdon available on Amazon I will try to remember to link it down below but this is a great book I'll definitely be stitching more out of this okay and then last project I did was FOP. It felt great to pull it back out. I um, stopped working on this for half the month because I did this for Black and White Monogamy, May, which for those of you unfamiliar, uh, May is sort of a celebration slash start-a-thon for, I think it started as a start-a-thon, like you start projects every day or something. And then I decided to try monogamous stitching again, which I haven't done for like a whole year and since the last time or since I started this project actually. And I, uh, I kind of lost steam at the end. So this is a project that's really good for like four day spurts for me. I think I'm going to end up having a rotation that's like two or three days with a project and then put it away. Two or three days with a project and put it away trying to figure out like kind of what is my wheelhouse but I'm also like stitch what you want when you want um last time you saw it this is what it looked like <laughs> I showed it last week oh look at how tired she is she's still tired y'all <sighs> poor Kaylee oh my gosh she's so tired um I put in one and a half diagonals I think so the arm is the arm of the dress is coming in pretty nicely um and yeah I don't know what else to say this is on 18 count Ada two over one full cross and I am just about 50% done with this 49.54 plus backstitch which is not included in pattern keeper so we've and it, I think this is about at its year birthday pretty close because I think shortly after I finished that USA pattern then I then I did this. Um, all of the patterns that you saw today. Oh, sorry. The FOP is from stitchyourphoto.com. I just, it's $5 for a PDF pattern and you can, you can like kind of chart it. You can pick the size of the chart, how many colors you want and whatnot. I found that, um, the less colors, the better. Uh, I do have another one of my photos from there but probably the less photos in, or the less colors in your photo, the better you, it would, I think it limits like 60 colors or something. And there are other websites where you can, you can have somebody chart your photo and I'm sure you would get, um, not that this chart is low quality, but you would have more options. You would be able to have more colors. Um, so those three that you saw are coming with me to, um, on the trip, on the month long trip. Um, as well as my Moroccan sampler, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go and pull that out. Your girl has to get some pack, more packing done, but this is what it looks like. Oh, I can show you what it looked like last week. That's what it looked like last week. No change. I didn't stitch on it. And then I am also taking my, my beat, my beach Hade, Manhattan beach at sunset, a retired Hade. That's what it looked like last time. No, no change. Um, those are coming in the car, and then I'm also bringing um, an Iowa start, which I did show you last week, but why not just show it to you, because this is only eight minute, nine minutes, and I'm going to end pretty quickly. I have my 20 count. I guess this is ivory, and I've been doing them all in white, but eh, I had this piece, so I'm, I'm going to bring this along. I already... I don't know where the flosses went. They're probably on the floor. Um, I already packed the flosses for this. I think maybe there was only one that I don't have, but I'm sure there will be a Michaels on the way. Um, and then also, I am... I forgot to mention this last week, but I am bringing along my Stitchly kit, because why not? 
if there's somebody who wants to stitch, I can trust them to just like, oh, I should have packed more Ada. Oh, well, I don't need to like broadcast that I cross stitch. But maybe Dylan will try this on the road. Maybe while we're in Iowa or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's what's coming on the road with me. Um, expect next week's update. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that sh she will be in the video. But my mother might make make another appearance. Who knows? I think I'll be with her next Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so busy days ahead look on my instagram for any updates because your girl doesn't have a thousand subscribers yet so i can't update you on youtube but if you follow me on instagram i will if i'm going to miss a video then i will post it on my instagram stories all you do is click on my picture and it'll say um it'll say if i'm missing so no live on sunday no extra stitch with me video this week i am packing <laughs> So with that, I am, that's all I want to show you. Um, next time you see me, you won't see this. This is probably going in, no, I don't want to throw it away. I'm going to keep these because these are from students. Um, what am I going to do with this thing? Oh, it's so cute. Uh, anyway, you'll see me in a different location in North Dakota, probably. So I will see you then. Have a great week. I hope that you are finding happiness in your stitching and yeah i'll see you next week you say my floss tube is over i have nothing more today i gotta go pack or else i will not i'll be leaving every all of my possessions back you'll be back oh my goodness that was that didn't work because i said back again you'll be back soon you see Remember how to get to me, floss to an Instagram, subscribe and follow to see my progress in the stitchy land. Da 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 Say goodbye. That's the last time you'll see her. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It's okay. You you move on. Bye.